what's the state park's name? Bennett Springs State Park. And uh, we went to the uh, spring to go fishing, and we caught ourselves this. Nice, not big, but decent sized. Rainbow, rainbow. trout. Yeah. So let's take some of the look at some of this fish. It's a uh, Labor Day. We went down by Lebanon, Missouri to the state park where they raise these fish. And then they got a nice uh, spring there. And they release these fish into what is called the Little Niagara River. It's one of the rivers in North America that flows north. That is naturally spring fed, so they're trying to turn it into a fish head, a uh, fish what habitat? Yeah, a trout habitat. Yeah, so a trout fishery, and this is one of the. Uh, actually, this is not one of the. This is my first trout, so I'm gonna try to uh, fillet it, and we're going to fry it in some grease, and we got some French fries. We're gonna season it up and uh, have us something to eat. So, our first trout. But we'll be going back. It's upside down. Take me to the river. Alright, we'll catch you later. Thanks, and keep watching. Hey, YouTubers. Uh, hey, listen, Sage, don't touch the screen or you'll stop it from recording. Uh, I did no research on the trout, but let me show you something. I got one piece here that I pendangled around on the rainbow trout. Here, Sage, point this camera and let me show him something. I noticed that I was trying to fillet this fish and I noticed that it works better. I cut down the side of the back, wash out most of the black, and I noticed that if you pull the skin back, see how that's already started? Hold the camera still when you're recording. You can pretty much just peel if you're in a hurry the skin off. I mean, you lose the thin stuff, but the major part of the meat, you just kind of take your time here, press down with your thumb on it. You can see you're just peeling. I could just yank it, but I want to try to save all the meat that I can. You see here, you just, the skin just peels right off the fish. I mean, look at this. Uh, that may be a normal practice, I don't know, but this is what we got right here, Sage, from the one fish. So I'm going to pause this, and if I can keep from messing the video up, we'll show you some video of it cooking and stuff. All right, so here we go. I got the two pieces of fish and some fresh oil in a 10-inch skillet on a medium to medium-low heat. You can see it's sizzling pretty good. As far as the uh, fish batter goes, what I'm using is I'm using this New Orleans seasoned fish fry breading mix I got at Walmart for like a buck fifty. So I'm keeping a close eye on this, so I'm gonna put the camera down. Well, we had a little taste test, so now we got one piece on the uh, napkins over here, and another starting on the French fries. I lay it out on the napkin here so it can start absorbing any extra grease like uh, Mama Jackie does. Alright, so here you have it. Fish and chips. There's my fishing buddy right over there. So we're getting ready to get into this. You can see we got three plates. We're going to make Mama a plate. Uh, she babysitted the kids most of the day. Did a great job. Thank you, Mama. Thanks, Mom. So we're getting ready to just divvy up the goods and uh, get our eat on. But uh, if you live in Missouri and you're interested in going down here to uh, Bennett Springs State Park and uh, you want to hook up or whatever, maybe we could go down there and go fishing or something. Just uh, leave a contact information down below, dude. And uh, maybe I can meet you there or something. And, uh, you know, you could have something like this. Huh, but Fun, ain't it? Yeah, I found the water twice. Alright, so there you have it. Rainbow trout and seasoned french fries. Thanks, and keep watching.